alignment. You hear people talk about it all the time. You never understand what's going on. So I'm going to straighten that out for you. It's time for an FJ fix. Now, here's what happens with alignment. There's a lot of things to line up. But basically, when I talk about alignment, I'm talking about the alignment of the lines of the body. And there are four lines in the body that we're paying attention to. The toe line, the knee line, the hip line, and the shoulder line. Now, the hip line and the shoulder line are probably the most important part of the address position in alignment, in proper alignment. And I'm not talking about what we're aiming at right now. I'm talking about how the alignment of these lines can affect your swing. Let me show you what I'm talking about. When you get set up and you have your shoulders in an open position, so the shoulders open up in this fashion here. What happens when we get our shoulders in this open position is now all of a sudden it twists my hips slightly open, which twists my knees slightly open, which then throws weight into the heel side of the lead foot and into the uh, toe side of the trail foot. And so we get set up like this, everything gets a little bit open, and now I never make a swing where I load the, the trail heel. And as we start to make this backswing, because I'm not loading that, what I tend to do is I tend to rock my hips. So I'll tend to rock here, my hips will go that way, my shoulder's gonna hang on the forward side, and then I'm gonna stuff this club into the ground. And with your wedges and nine irons, the club that have a lot of loft, you're gonna pull it. And with your drivers and three woods and maybe a, a, a say a, a four iron, if you carry one, five iron, you start to, you'll start to see a lot of slice to it. So what I want you to do is I want you to become very aware of how the turning of your hips and shoulders moves weight in your feet. So all I want you to do, and this is a very simple thing to do, all you're gonna do is you're gonna stand here like this and you're gonna twist your hips this way. And when you twist your hips, what you're gonna feel is you're gonna feel weight in the, in the heel of that foot pretty light in the toes. You'll feel a little bit heavier in the, in the lead toe and a little bit lighter in the lead heel. Then you're gonna twist back this way. And I really want you to feel like a twist so it's gonna feel like your hips are pointing you know, to say 10 o'clock or 10.30. And all of a sudden now you're gonna feel your trail heel extremely light. And you're gonna feel the lead heel very, very heavy. So what we do is we get set up in the address position and then all we're doing is we're just twisting here and feeling how weight distribution is being shifted. And now when you twist those hips, like my tendency when I play is for my hips to get open and my shoulders to get open. So I'm constantly working on this. So what I'll do is I'll twist my hips like this. And when I feel like my hips are putting the weight, distributing the weight properly in my feet, now I look at it and I go, well, that ball position just feels so forward. So what I'll do then is I'll just inch up and get that ball position to where it's proper. And now here, I feel like I can make a really good full turn and hit a little high draw. And you can see that golf ball start out to the right. Now it's twisting back to the target and it goes over the target because my ball speed increased. That ball speed got up to about 117 and a half. That ball carried 182 yards. But you can see it had a nice high draw, came right down on the target. And the reason why the, the, the power increases is because I'm able to get that weight into that trail heel. Once you get into the trail heel, now you can really, really swing at it with confidence and know that the speed's gonna increase. When you get set up and you have that really forward ball position and your shoulders and your hips get too open, now all of a sudden what you're doing is you're getting weight distributed poorly into the feet and as a result, you make a swing where the hips are sliding out, you're stabbing that club into the ground, you're losing all kinds of consistency and all kinds of distance. Pay attention to the weight in your feet. Make sure it's the same, both left side, right side. Make sure that it feels the same in the feet. When you start to do that, you're gonna make a very functional motion that will create extremely good results. And that is an FJ fix.
to improve all parts of your game, subscribe to my channel and click the link below.